9,000 women, youths and persons living with disabilities are to be empowered with grants by wife of the state governor, Gaza Deleke, in Osho State, to support their businesses. We have more in the support. The participants were selected from different parts of the state for this training program on how to boost their businesses. They fall within the age range of 18 to 35 and also enjoy free registration of their businesses with the Corporate Affairs Commission, in addition with the grants to be given to them after the training. The facilitator, Ngozi Adeleke, assures people of more empowerment programs before the end of the year. I urge you all to embrace this opportunity with open arms and make the very best of the extensive knowledge and expertise that the Enterprise Development Center and the Esther Adeleke Humanitarian Foundation have to offer as we continue to foster a thriving entrepreneurial ecosystem and create a brighter future for the women of Oshun State. The initiative will further complement government's efforts at empowering many youths in the states. His Excellency, the governor, and those who are people that we should empower, we should train 10,000 individual on screen acquisition, which is going to happen shortly before the end of the year. Because this program has been brought um, to the youth um, between the ages of 18 to 35 years, uh, most especially for women, um, to be able to make them managerial leaders. I want to thank our mother, uh, it says, uh, Our Excellency Erelu Ngozi Adeleke, for this opportunity to bring it to us on how to grow our business. The three day training program is also taking place in Elisha and Iwo and the facilitator appealed to the participants to maximize the opportunity. Because after this batch, we have another batch for the youth. After the youth, we'll have for the disabled before we round off for this year. What we are doing here is to cut numbers that we can organize and take care of at a city. That's why we have it in three senatorial zones. She also promised to continue to prioritize the welfare of women and youths in the states. Rafiul Hamid, TVC News, Elisha, Ocean State.